Hey guys! So, I just kind of wanted to make a video about my testimony so you guys could, you know, like, share it and stuff and get blessed by it, because that's what testimony is for. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it also kind of started, like, years ago. I don't even know how it really happened. Um, I guess I was obsessed, oh, not obsessed, oppressed by this demon serpent thing. And it had manifested a few times, you know, and I hadn't really realized what it was, but I think my dad recognized it because, you know, he's my dad and he's smart and stuff. And the, Yeah. Um, so I went to cultivation in August and I had this manifestation and it was really scary because it was like I was having a seizure, but I was like still in my right mind and stuff. And, you know, I kind of figured out what it was and I thought I was delivered from that. Like I was delivered from that actually, you know. It was released for me, and I just felt so much lighter and freer, and it was just amazing. Um, but I still felt empty, you know, because that was gone, and I needed something to replace that. So a few months go by, and um, October 2011, I went to Open Heavens Conference, and I was like, all right, you know, everyone's seen like crazy things happening at Bethel, and all this stuff and you know that's cool and everything but I want a personal experience and see so, you know we're hanging out there and stuff and we're going to the meetings and it's really awesome and it's just awesome to be at Bethel and in Reading and meeting everybody and experiencing it and the last night after the uh, service was over um, somebody looked up and saw this glory cloud and gold dust and feathers and everything and so we were all saying, you know, worshiping, singing, chose your glory. It was, it was amazing. There's diamonds and stuff that fell, ge ge gems, and yeah, awesome stuff. And it's like, all right, God, you know, this is cool. I can see that you're real and stuff, but I want something more personal, you know? Like, I want you to show me that you're actually there, like, to me, like, what you are for me. And so he said to cup my hands like this and shake them. So, I was shake, you know, I was like, alright, that's weird. So I started shaking my hands for like 20 minutes, and they got really hot. And then he told me to go into the the restroom. When I got in there, he said to look at my hands. They were covered in this, like, gross brown stuff that, you know, was not sweat. I know that, and it sounds really nasty, but it was awesome at the same time. <laughs> but he said to wash my hands. So while I'm washing my hands, he tells me that I'm washing away the burdens of my past. And, you know, and I felt something lift off me right then. And it was, I don't know, I was like, all right, yeah, it's cool. It's getting personal and stuff. And I was happy with that. But you know how he is. He's always like, I'm going to give you more than what you expected and more than what you're going to settle for because that's the kind of God I am. And I just want to, you know, bless you because you're my daughter or son. <laughs> so he tells me to go tell my dad I'm going to the Alabaster house. I said, okay. So I go to get my shoes on. <laughs> my shoes weren't there. Anywhere. And he said, I didn't tell you to put your shoes on. I said, just go. I said, okay, I'm going. And so I tell my dad. And then I go outside. And it's like midnight, maybe, around there. And the whole campus, you couldn't see anything but the Bethel campus, because it was surrounded by a cloud. But you could still see the stars when you looked up. It was just like this band around. And I was like, that's really weird. And so I'm walking over there. And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go inside or outside or where I'm supposed to go around the Alabaster house. But it became apparent to me that I was supposed to um, go down to the garden area or pool or, you know, that area. So I started walking down the path. And the path, you know, it's sparkly and like kind of gold looking anyways. But, I mean, it was, like, completely covered in gold. And, like, crazy amount. More than I've ever imagined could be possible, you know? And so I'm walking, and this white butterfly flies past me in October in the middle of the night, which is weird. It was a really pretty white butterfly. And he said that I was coming to him in the most pure and holy of forms. Um, when I looked up... I saw the, the statue of the lion, and the head turned, looked at me. This isn't a vision. This actually happened. He turned, looked at me, and snapped back. 
And then God told me to come sit with him. So I go and I sit down next to the lion. And I put my hand on the paw and it was warm. And, you know, as soon as I sat down, the clouds lifted and I saw, like, the whole city. And he said, this is where you belong. You sit on top of this hill with me because you're my daughter and this is where you reign. This is where you belong. He just began going through my heart and, like, telling me everything, telling me that he's got my back. And everything I've been questioning, he was, like, confirming and stuff. And, you know, he said, this is a, him talking has been all in my head the whole time. Um, <clears throat> he said to get up and walk. There's something else I had to do. I'm like, what is him? I'm like bawling and stuff. I'm like, God, I don't want to get up. This is amazing. You know, I don't want to leave you. And I kind of, yes, I threw a little fit. <laughs> I threw a little fit and I put my head on the statue, leaned on the statue. And as soon as my head hit the statue, he yelled my name audibly. And it really kind of scared me. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So I jumped up and I started walking towards the pool of Bethesda. Um, and he said to anoint myself. I said, okay. So I went to my forehead with the water. He then said to walk around the pool three times while saying, you are my God, you can have my heart. So I walked around three times, you know, and on the last step, I said, you are my God, you have my heart. And he then told me to anoint myself again. And, um, I started to anoint my forehead, you know, I got one lying down for the cross, like, you know, you generally do. He said, no, honey, that's not where I am. I reign in your heart. And so you had my, I know my heart, because that's, you know, where he is and stuff. And as soon as that happened, my dad was right there at the top of the hill, and, you know, like, wanting to know what's going on and stuff. And, like, he just came out of nowhere. I mean, nobody was around this whole time, which was awesome. And, you know, I'm, I was still in this whole, like, phase and everything in this moment and not over what had just happened and we our group went to Denny's for dinner a late late dinner and I uh I, I tipped the waitress ninety dollars <laughs> it was the rest of my money for the trip and I just knew the guy was going to provide for me and he did we actually got to spend an extra day during that extra day which was the next day um I went back and there was this crack all the way around the lion's neck, like it had actually turned and looked at me, totally blew me away. And that day I just, I literally spent from morning till like midnight, just sitting with my feet in the pool, like praying, like going, what just happened? And you know, ever since then I've been completely free and I, he's like actually in my heart, you know, and he's totally filled me up. and. I just, I really want all of you to have this experience, like, I mean, not exactly, but in your own way. Because once you experience that love of God, you'll never be the same. And, oh, I can't even, it's hard for me to talk right now, I mean, I'm just feeling so much. And, you know, I just, I send all that out to you guys, you know. Whoever watches this, they'll be blessed and feel your love and encounter you in such a way that it'll change their lives forever. And they'll know that you really love them and the, you've got it all handled and it's your kids <laughs> yeah so anyways thanks for your time and i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you have any questions or anything you can just call me and we can you know get together and talk or, or whatever so yeah thanks work oh no my keyboard's stuck <laughs>